Welcome back to the No State Project. I'm Mark Stevens, and I got to do a short video today, and absolutely of necessity. I don't want to lose my channel. Apparently, uh, if you look at the last video I did, I'm not even going to use the words, but I have been. <laughs> It is age restricted, so you have to sign in if you want to leave a comment. I know that's such a terrible thing, signing into that there YouTube. Um, and I was going, so I was going to respond to stupid, hateful comments, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to use those buds words. And I will be doing and focusing on more videos on legal stuff. But what I want to address, only because I've known and loved them all these years, Bill from the Twin Mountain Country Store up in New Hampshire. So I would, uh, I would urge you to catch up on what happened with Bill. Uh, it was absolutely horrible. I almost gave up doing the No Stay Project and helping people years ago because of what they did to Bill. That was absolutely horrible. And it's only because I love and respect the man that I'm responding to the comment and I don't want to respond to the comment on the video because I don't want to take any chances of the video being pulled. Then there'll just be more accusations that I censor and I do not delete comments. I can only respond to part of the comment which is what really, really got me and saying how late, the latest events, the, the last year and a half has really brought out the worst in people. I'm not saying that necessarily about Bill but this, this was a comment that yeah, it, 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 I have to respond to this one. And um, because I support certain health measures, I have been called an apologist for the state. And I am to change his mind. The best I can do here without threatening my whole channel of being pulled down is that uh, I'm still an anarchist. I did a whole video where I'm still the same guy. It's just one particular issue that people have a problem with. I wear a seatbelt. Why do I wear a seatbelt? Is it because it's mandated by law? No, I wear a seatbelt because I'm concerned for my safety. And I wear a seatbelt because I'm not only concerned for my safety, I don't want to be, I'm concerned with the safety of the other people in my car. Because if I don't have a seatbelt on and somebody hits me, I'm going to become a projectile and I'm going to hurt everybody else. So this crap, this stupid argument, review, and, and, and it's an analogy to what's going on currently now, so I, I can't, I, I don't want to use those words, but just remember, it's just an analogy. Why the hell do I, if everybody else has a seatbelt on, why do I have to wear my seatbelt? I'm concerned with my safety, not yours. Man, why would I have to put a seatbelt on if you have one on? Because that's the nature of a car accident. You put the seatbelt on because you become a projectile if the car is hit. It's that simple. Now, I also don't murder people. I don't steal from people. I don't defraud people. Though there are laws against that. Is that why I don't lie, steal, and cheat people and kill them? No. Bill and anybody else, would you say that I was an apologist for the state because I wear a seatbelt? It's a safety issue, not a legal issue. I couldn't give a damn what some government employee says. To say that I'm an apologist for the state because I put my seatbelt on? Say I'm an apologist for the state because I recommend common sense, medical? <laughs> I just caught myself. I gotta stick to just an analogy. I, I think the point is made if I am a if I am an apologist for the state because I support a particular health, certain health precautions, then I'm also a, an apologist for the state because I wear a seatbelt. So what you have to do, Bill and others, you have to divorce yourself and, and completely ignore my motive and why I'm actually doing it. But instead of listening to me, instead of actually taking my word for it and believing me as a first source that I'm doing it for health and I'm doing it for ethical reasons, that I'm not doing it for legal reasons, instead you're ascribing me or you're ascribing to me that I'm just a, a, an apologist for the government. I thought that you guys knew what I was about. I've been very upfront about it. I have gone to jail for it. I have been prosecuted for it. Then on the lesser side, I have been uh, I've heard every insult leveled against me because I don't believe in government. And despite all that, 
you you can ignore my own words that I do it out of out of empathy I do it out of uh, for the safety of others I do it because I want to be an honest ethical person but the whole history that you have with me you guys will just throw it away oh he's just an apologist for the state I it's like I said the last year and a half has really brought the worst out in people and to say that I'm an apologist for the state even when you've got a personal history with me wow I guess it's it's I don't know all I can do is throw out the analogy and you guys can make up your own mind and you can leave you know uh, more comments but I won't be doing any more videos about this particular subject so hopefully we you know the, we don't have to have the the awful comments but uh, that, that's that's that, that was a tough one that that's a tough one so I don't know if that's gonna change your mind bill or anyone else's mind you get, if you're gonna see the truth and you're gonna accept my words or if I, I if I'm fake news now I've explained on the same guy I've shown that based on the same principles why I'm an anarchist, why I became an anarchist, why I'm still an anarchist. None of that seems to matter. So just in summary, I don't think, this is just me, I don't think that an, someone who's a, an anarchist and has gone to jail for it, for his beliefs, I don't think that because they wear a seatbelt that that makes, and they recommend people wear seatbelts, I don't think that makes them an apologist for the state. That just makes them concerned for safety. And unfortunately, it's this complete disconnect from the, you know, the nuance of the position. I don't even know if that's even necessary. It's you just completely disregarded the, the, my position and, and just substituted in what looks like anger, just saying, oh, he's an apologist for the state. Just because I don't believe the same uh, theories and, and allegations that you do. So that's it. I wear the seatbelt out of concern for myself and other people. And it's the same with this other situation. It's just a concern for other people. I did that whole video about the about ethics and, and putting the, the cart back. It's about being a good person. And I'll say it again. My gosh, people, do we want to be like those judges and cops and prosecutors that we rail against so much? Do we really want to be like that? Where we have no regard? We don't give a damn about anything but ourselves? Only thing we care about is our pocketbook? Is that really how we want to be? That's not how I want to be. So, I put the seatbelt on and I recommend people wear a seatbelt simply out of concern for myself and for others. That's it. Nothing to do with the fact that it's a law that you have to do that. Nothing. So that's really all I got for this particular video. Again, whether it changes any minds, I really don't care. I do feel that I had to say something publicly about this and make this the last video on that particular subject. And I, So that's all I really got to say on this particular video. Hopefully the next video will be out a lot sooner. It will not be based on what this video or the last video is based on. I will not do those videos anymore. But as always, thanks for watching.